Ah, good day, Year 9. Um, okay, I'm going to show you a very simple thing today, how to um, add the drum kit. And you've got down here a synth, but okay, uh, I'm going to change it. I was going to put a nice stringy sort of sound in there, okay, but uh, I'm going to change that into a drum kit instead. I'm going to learn how to write for drum kit. Okay, so, um, now, First of all, let's go to parts, and instead of having that synth part, I'm going to make it a drum kit. So what I do is I go to unpitched percussion. Now that means um, things like drum kit um, or uh, clapping sticks or um, you know cajon, uh, triangle, things that you hit that don't necessarily play a pitch like a you couldn't play Mary Had a Little Lamb on it, right? You could ask Eli to play Mary Had a Little Lamb with a drum kit and you'll give it a go, but it won't sound that great. So pitch percussion, things like Glock and Spiel, xylophones, things we hit that do play tunes. So that's the difference between pitched, unpitched percussion and pitch percussion. So if we open that up, we get in here and we're going to find drums standard, but your standard drum kit, okay? Now, see that it changes that and instead of the treble clef now, we have our drum kit um, clef, our drum clef, okay? Now, I'm going back to edit because I was just playing this before. Uh, actually, I might play it again. I've just put in my own piano accompaniment and my own bass line. You see how I've actually just made a simple dum 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 And what I've done with my bass line, just to give you some ideas, just if you're still get stuck on your bass line. Um, see here we've got a D chord and then a G. In your left hand on the piano just go simply D, G. Okay, just D, G because that's a crotchet. See where the guitar chords sit right on the melody and it's just D, G. Okay, there we go. We just paste that back in there. We'll have a listen to this before we start doing our drum kit to get a feel for what our drum kit might be. Okay. And I'm just going to do a standard kind of rock beat, and you can do that, and then I'd suggest you might make some other changes afterwards. So you see how that is a dotted crotchet, so it's a crotchet plus a quaver, and so both our piano chord and our bass note, our left hand note, are dotted crotchets, and that takes us on to another dotted crotchet for the E minor chord, as it says it there, and then a crotchet for the D, and okay, it all fits together. Let's just have a listen to that so we work out what we want our drum kit to sound like. Now, for your arrangement, you could speed that up or slow it down, and let's go back to edit. There's my tempo, that's how I speed things up or slow it down. Um, I'm actually am going to slow that down. You, you, I'm not going to say you have to, um, you know, you, you can decide the tempo. I think 90 might sit a little bit better. Let's, we'll see what that sounds like in a moment. Okay, now, the basic things with the drum kit. If you want to repeat a pattern over and over again, um, okay, above this line here, that's automatically a closed hi-hat. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to put in um, a whole lot of quavers. So up here, I changed that crotchet hi-hat to a quaver hi-hat. And we're just going to do a basic drum beat today, and we won't do too much with it. We won't go crazy. Um, but if you get a basic thing in, and then you copy that in, Okay, now we're going to use our left and right buttons here on our computer keyboard. And here on the one, two, third space, we've got a snare drum. So we move along, and I'm going to just do the standard thing. You can play around with this later. And then we've got another snare drum. Okay. Now, if I put the bass drum is kicking in there on the first beat and if I put
one on there on the one, two, three, fourth quaver beat. So it's like a dotted cross. Doom, doom, doom is what the bass drum is going to sound like. Okay, let's have a listen to that. Okay, that's a good basic sound. Now, go back to edit. Copy that. So I like the bar. And fill that all in. Okay. And then I'm going to show you, uh, see we're up to five minutes in the video. That's all right. Of course, uh, you know, this will uh, give you all the information that you should need. We're going to fill that in for the whole thing. And then we're going to play around with it a bit. And that's what you're going to, uh, once you've got a basic, if you can do a basic kit. Now that's okay for your seven. All right. That's okay for your seven. But I'd like your nine to... Uh, Experiment a bit and give Eli something a bit challenging to play, okay? Yeah, he'd love that, right? So let's look for where we've got the end of a phrase. We're going to stop it there, right? So look at this. Now, I normally wouldn't do this, but see there, bar five. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to delete all of it. I'm just going to, just with drums, it's, it's, you don't want to put so many notes all over the place. Um, unless you really don't like the drummer, you know, maybe. Um, experiment a bit with these sounds now. Okay, so that's a tom. Now, we don't want that. If we take it down to that, that's another tom. Okay, and what we might do, get rid of that one, give it a little space, and let's have a listen to what that sounds like. Okay, so that's what we call a fill. All right, that's F I double -L, L, not P H I L. Okay, you don't want one of those guys. All right, so um, here, let's have a listen again. Oh, sorry, I didn't listen to the fill, but okay, here it is. Cursor here. There we go. Now, that's just one thing you do. I just deleted the last bit. Uh, see how there's a little space there in the melody? And I kind of filled it with that little roll on the toms. Okay, it's quite simple. The simpler the better. And look, we've got another thing here. So here's what you could do. If you go, oh, yeah, I like that. So I'm going to edit. I'm going to find that bar where I did the nice fill. I'm going to copy that um, and look for another place. Oh, look down here. There's another little bit of a space there with that. And I'm going to put that in. Let's see what that sounds like. Yes, that's nice. Now, let's go right to the end and let's do something with our symbols. So, um, I'm going to get rid of that whole bar, edit, and what we might do, we might get rid of the second last bar, and put that in, and let's see, let's, yeah, just put a note in there, and what I'm looking for, if I go up here, okay, there we are, well, that's what we call a ride symbol, so if you're doing a jazz thing, choom, 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 Okay, close hi hat. Mm, that's a crash symbol. Mm. Yeah, so what we might do is uh, closed hi hat, and Eli might disagree with me, but I'm going to see what his assignment looks like. And let's see what this last little bit sounds like. Yeah, okay. That makes it sound a bit nicer. I'm quite pleased with that. So if you did something like that, okay, you can steal all those ideas. If you did something like that, then yeah, that's that's pretty good. And um, that would be a very strong, yeah, working towards probably if you, but working at would be if you just did a straight beat the whole way through, it's pretty accurate. Working beyond is where you do a pretty tasteful kind of a fill here and there's uh, some variation that adds to the um, melody line of the piano cut, the, the, the drum part, oh, I'm missing a bit there. Um, yeah, okay, if that happens to you, 
just go edit copy the normal little bit there look for where we've got a blank bit of drum kit part and uh, actually I can see a bit of a gap in the melody so let's toss them up don't go crazy with your fills either that would not be a working beyond if it was just sort of uh, see we just want a straight beat there so I'll find a bar with a nice straight beat okay let's finish off by um, having a listen to that good I just saw something else I could really improve there so it's gone back to the edit mode okay see here I got this okay and you get rid of that and I'm going to go a nice ride symbol oh, hang on done with that uh, hang on with my ride symbol. Oh, there you go with my ride symbol and I'm going to add a dot to that so it matches this and I'm going to do the same again this is what that sounds like Yeah, see, so that's nice. It's accentuating that rhythm there in that um, melody line and the, and the chord change. See, the chord change is a dotted crotchet, and that's a dotted crotchet and a nice ride cymbal there. And you could add a bass drum, but I think it's nice and light level. Okay, so that's a working beyond, working beyond drum kit part for how can I keep from singing.